Hey, so you wanted a new nose, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, let me get my nose sheet then, okay? One second. Here it is, my no shape type sheet. Basically, we'll just go through all of these until we find one that you like, and then I'll give it to you. Sound good? Okay. So the first one we have is the hooked nose. I'll show it to you up close. Right here. So the main feature of the hooked nose is the little bump that it has right here. The second one we have is the droopy nose. It's called the droopy nose, obviously, because it droops a little. It kind of looks like a hook, like a fisher's hook. The third one we have is the aquiline nose, right here. This one differs from the first two in that it's a lot more pointed. See how it's kind of sharper? These are more rounded at the tip. It kind of reminds me of Phineas from Phineas and Ferb, so that's kind of a cool nose. <laughs> the fourth one is the Roman nose. I love the Roman nose. It's probably my favorite one. I'd recommend for you to get that one. I'd recommend for everyone to get that one just because it's, it's so cute. I don't know. I really like it. This one is more straight than the aquiline nose. They're kind of similar. As you can see, this one's just more curved. Then the fifth one, the last one of the top row, is the Cretian nose. So this one is different from the first four, the first four, because it's a lot flatter on the face. You can see, by just comparing all of them, it's way it doesn't protrude from the face as much as the others okay so that's the top row moving on to the second row we have the button nose this is probably our most popular one it just goes out it's super cute i really like that one it's not as good as the roman nose though <laughs> so the second one in the second row which is the second yeah, sorry, I'm rambling. The second one is the child's nose. I don't know why an adult would get this one because it's for a child, but I mean, you could do whatever you want. I don't really care. It's your nose, it's your face. <laughs> so this one, it's really small, right? Cause it's a child's nose and it just sticks out kind of like a button nose. Then we have the upturned nose. So it's called the upturned nose, obviously, because it's upturned a little bit. It's like the opposite of the truth nose. See how this one goes down? How this one goes up? The fourth one in the bottom row is the snub nose. Here's the front view. It has a front view just because it's kind of hard to tell what this would look like from the front. But you can kind of guess with these what they would look like from the front. Then the last one we have is the funnel nose. Oh, sorry, I haven't been showing them to you up close. I'll just give you some time to look at the whole bottom row, okay? So again, we have the button nose, the child's nose, the upturned nose, the snub nose, and the funnel nose. Do any of these look good to you? You really like the aquiline nose? Maybe it's aquiline. No, I think it's aquiline. I'm not sure. But that's a good choice. I really like that one too. So before I get started, I like to ask, have you ever changed your nose before? No? Okay. That is totally fine. You have nothing to be nervous about. You should be excited, actually. It's a very enjoyable experience. Okay, let me tell you about it. Basically, we take this pen, right? It looks like a Sharpie, but it's not a Sharpie, rest assured. Basically, we use this side to kind of get rid of some of the skin cells. And then we use this Sharpie to add on skin cells so we can get the shape that we want. It's way better than surgery is. I don't know why people even get surgery anymore because this is, for one, very painless. It is really cheap and it takes like no time. So it's way better. Sorry, I didn't mean to go off on a tangent. I'm just very passionate about my job. So you wanted the aquiline nose, correct? This one? Is there anything you wanted to change about it at all? Okay, you want it to stick out a little more than that? Yeah, that's totally fine. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take off some skin cells from the tip of your nose and the sides, okay? You have nothing to be worried about, don't worry. This is painless. So 
point I just move this up and down and it kind of like sucks them away. I don't really know how it works, but it works. Okay, other side. Okay, now I'm gonna get some off the tip. It works best when you go in circular motions. It takes away like an even amount when you do that. Okay, I think I'm gonna take some more off this side. So your nose might look a little weird now. You can't see it because there are no mirrors, but from my perspective, it looks a little weird, but that is okay. We're in the middle of the process. You just have to wait till the end. Now I'm going to take this side. This side has a cap because it's a little dangerous just to leave it out. You might just like add a bunch of skin cells to your arm or something. So I'm gonna add some on the bridge to make it kind of rounded. I'm gonna add more right here and less right here. So it's just like how it is in this picture. Again, I'm using circular motions to make sure there's an even application. Okay. Oh, and then you said you wanted it to be, to stick out a little more than it did in the image, right? Okay, so I'll just add some, a couple layers over the whole thing. So now I'm just going to brush over with my fingers to see if there are any spots that are kind of lower than the others. I want it to be really smooth. So I'm just going to touch the left side of your nose. Okay. Okay, there's a little part right here that kind of goes in. I'll fill that in right now. Okay. Okay, that feels a lot better other side. Okay. There's some up here. And then another spot down here. Yeah, that feels good. Now I'm just going to go over the nose bridge. Last thing. Okay, I think that feels good. That looks great, actually. Yeah, I kind of popped off. I can't wait till you see it. I wish I had a mirror so I could show you. Actually, no, I don't. Because then, if you hated it, you would probably cry or something. Yeah, whatever. I'm sure you'll love it anyway. Sorry, I don't mean to worry you. You can just go to the front desk now and pay them or something. I don't really know. I just fix people's noses. I don't worry about the prices or anything. If you ever need... It to be fixed or you ever want to change it again, you know who to come to. Yeah, that's it. Peace.